Hi everybody, San Manana. Welcome to Reality Bias TV where we talk about all things reality TV shows and all things reality TV show stars. So listen, you guys. Okay, something is going on with Ingalas as team. Goobies, 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 goobies. So listen, you guys. First, I want to talk about us name because apparently, allegedly, there is someone December. Okay. Listen, you guys. Every time a man, this is for the young ladies, okay. If a man says Nzuklobola December, okay, don't invite the people yet. Okay. Just wait until they are waiting at the gates and they are screaming it as well as again. Then send the child to tell the neighbors. Yabo. Amalobolo and December are the most unsafest malobolo to ever be arranged. So don't go all out to clean Zege and all of that because they might not show up. Okay. This has nothing to do with those nay. I'm just saying it for the young viewers here. You know, I, I am sure and I am they will agree with you. It's very unsafe for somebody to say we are global and my Easter. It's unsafe for somebody to ask we are global um Gukisimus on go December. Okay. It's even worse if it's January. Any other month you can you know have hope. But December Ama Easter, no. Okay. Ama Easter people are going to church. December people are broke by Bishi. You know what I mean? Nobody's you know busy in my local. So please you guys be careful about this December proposals. Okay. Now let's go back to Sne. Do I believe what so really there is this mysterious boyfriend? Because apparently they are saying that this is a boyfriend that we haven't met because Usne has had a couple of boyfriends. Remember, she did an interview, talked about one boyfriend a few weeks later. She was talking about the breakup and then there was another boyfriend. And then you guys, so this is a boyfriend that we have not met according to the rumor. Okay, this is somebody that had just commented somewhere to say, let's see, Now, you guys, you guys know I love Usne, okay? Do I think Usne is ready for Umendo? I don't know. God, <laughs> guys, more figure Umendo. The only thing you guys when it comes to Inganes' team is that I've always said what I think that all of them are going to have a hard time finding partners, you know, because on uh, Angayabo they know them, they know what's Abagam they know what they are doing, they're showing Inganes' team. Everybody wants to be on the show Inganes' team. So being as young as they are, well, Usne is not young. You know, but she acts young, but she's not young. But being as young as they are, all of the kids, I think that it's going to be hard for them uh, to be able to judge if the people that they are meeting are genuine. Okay, that's why even the boyfriends that Usne has had, you know, they look like, you know, do you really like Usne or do you want to be around her so that you can gain all of the things that you can gain by being around Usne? Okay, so that is uh, my worry. That is she going to be able to judge if the guys that are coming around her, promising her marriage, promising her women, whatever it is that they're promising her, that they are genuine. But I feel like there are a lot of people that know that being around any of uh, them Selegu kids comes with certain benefits, you know. And so how are they going to know they're going to have a hard time? However, you guys, if a lot only when go December... Good for Sne. We hope that it's uh, genuine. We hope it's not another one where a guy is paying Lobola for you and then all of this stuff starts coming out uh, like it happened with Uvuyo, you guys. Now, let's come back now to Umpumelelo. Remember the last season of Inganese's Table, Umpumelelo went while Shaula Unumpumelelo, you know, the virgin uh, that he was dating, they never had any child together. In fact, this girl had a child with someone else. Now we are going to talk about that situation. Okay. So Umpumelelo went while Claudin Tombazana that had already had a child with someone else. I did not understand it. And for me, the thing that made me uh, to be even more confused about that situation was that I thought that Umpumelelo had not paid Lobola for Vuyo's kids and he had not paid Lobola for uh, Tirelo's child. 
the rumor is you guys even though they haven't spoken about it on the show people are saying so apparently pomelelo had already thawulad inganezi kavuyo zumbili you know and also he did thawula ingane kampomele these are people talking we haven't heard from the sources mouth okay from the horses mouth <laughs> well we heard it from the source but we didn't hear it from the horse's mouth. So they haven't spoken about it on the show, which is strange, but they haven't said anything on the show. But there is a rumor that Pumelo has already paid uh, Malobola for his kids. That's why he even went ahead and paid for Unom Pumelo because basically with Unom Pumelo, he was paying because he took Unom Pumelo's virginity. Now, what they never told us was that the baby daddy of Nompomelelo's baby might possibly be Oumdab. <laughs> because over there by Facebook, Nompomelelo is busy posting Oumdab wase India. <laughs> she moved from Nompomelelo to Oumdab wase India. Guti was there by Facebook, Bachabolile. She's like, here is my Indian. You know, I like the Indian side of me. Now people are looking at the baby and they are like, oh, it makes sense. The father is umtabuase in. Kuya, vele kota manje masubuka because pela people have found the baby's picture. So mau bugenga nu bugu umtabuase in. Now we are saying this. Oh, the father is umtabuase in. You know. Now, I was just wondering, because they do say, "Who's Abam Dabwase India?" You know, "Who's Abam Dabwase India?" You know, the pen that they write with. You know, you know they say the pen that they write with is not the pen that the Zulus write with, and it's not the pen that the vendors write with, and it's not the pen that the Kosas write with. They have their own pen that looks a little bit more special and more yabon. So I, I did wonder about that. But together, I say Umpomelelo is very happy. And if you look there by the pictures, she looks very happy with Umtabas end. Now you guys listen. If I had to uh, give an opinion on who I think is better for Unumpomelelo between Umpomelelo and India, guys, I would go for India, you know, okay, because at least Lingono Ipeni Eli Pala normally Pala, you know, something in a little party, Lipala Umpalua Copel, you know, even if the pen is small, as long as it only writes in your book, you know. I think it's better. The, the umtabasa inda is better than umpumelelo because umpumelelo, even if the, it's a fancy pen, but this pen writes in every book. Every day there is a new book the pen is writing. One day the pen was running out of ink. You, you, you see what I'm saying? So, Mina, I can see how umpumelelo can be like yoko ngunungala. And also, with umtabasa ewasa inda, I haven't met a lot of um, Dabubase, India, who wants to take his temple. The worst that you can deal with with Um Dabubase, India is the in-laws that are most likely not going to like most of the time because sometimes there's differences with religion and all of that, okay? And just like, you know, our Zulu parents want us to uh, get married to Zulu guys, okay? So if I if I show up with a Kosa guy, I might need to explain a little bit, okay? They won't kill anybody. But I might need to explain. You, you understand what I'm saying? So even with Indians, sometimes the parents are like, hi, well, what happened to the Indian girls? Okay, you know? <laughs> the neighbor here has a very beautiful girl for you. Okay, why didn't you take that girl? So I can see how she can decide that this is better than this over here. Okay. I don't know what was happening, you guys, around that time. Remember when uh, they paid in Tawulu? It was almost like the way she was posting it, almost like she wants people to think that she is back with Mpumelelo. So I'm wondering why she was doing all of that shady stuff if she already had her Indian man. Okay? 
So listen, you guys, it looks like people that have uh, left Nupumalelo are very happy. Okay. And one of them is happy in a relationship that is Unupumalelo. And I know some of you are going to say, but Vio is also happy with Polani. No. Because there is no woman that is going to be happy with being married to somebody that they've never met. Okay, so until they meet and we see how happy they are together, then we can say all of Bumelilo's exes are happy. But I can say that Vuyo looks happy uh, ever since she left Umpumelilo. Just her as a person, she looks happy. If you follow her on social media, she looks like she's doing well for herself. She looks like she's very happy. However, the relationship is what is questionable. But I feel like she made the right decision for herself to leave the relationship. Now, Unumpumelelo, now it looks like she made the right decision for herself. She just chose this pen over here that is only going to write in her book, which is good for her. You know, good for her. We want the girls to be happy. Put yourself first. Okay, so she can experience that love of not being worried that one day this person is going to want to take another wife. Good for him. Now, there is no say for you guys. I really want to know the truth, the real truth about no Sipo. No Sipo was the virgin girl. Uh, where Umbumelo had introduced the idea of him wanting to take a virgin girl as the first wife. Then we were introduced to... um. The virgin on the show in Ghana's team. Okay. And she showed up for, was it two episodes? Because there was an episode where she, uh, Mpumali was talking about the fact that Uzufun Gumlebol and all of that, there was an episode where he he came with her to Luanjia's party. After that, we never saw um, 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 we never saw her again. And we also uh, we're not even seeing them together on social media. So we never saw them on the show after the two episodes. We never saw them together on the show. But then we also didn't see them on social media. So it, by the end of the show, it, it was suspicious. It was, was this just a thing that was just set up for the show? Were they really in a relationship? Or maybe they were in a relationship, but Pumelelo knew that he was just doing it for the show. Uh, it was strange to me, you guys. And as much as people made such a big deal with Umpumelelo breaking up with Uvuyo, with, the, with Uno Sipo, nobody really made a big deal about it. It almost felt like it, that relationship never even existed. So Uno, Pumelelo, uh, uh, not Uno, Uno Sipo has moved on. Well, from Mpumelelo, but we don't know if he, she has a boyfriend. But I am still very curious to know the truth when it comes to that relationship now with all of that happening you guys one thing i can tell you is that Odirello no no Pumelelo are very happy together you know they look very happy you guys okay i don't know how i don't know how you are happy in a relationship where a person is seeing many other people for me it's like how do you do it but Honestly, when you follow them, you feel like this is a very happy couple. They're happy with each other. They have an understanding, I guess. And they look very, very happy. I wonder what would really, what would be the worst thing. What's the worst thing that can happen if Pumelo just said, you know what? I choose Tirello. I want to marry her. I actually don't want a team. Would, it, would that be so bad for his life? Would that be a disaster for him? To just choose Tirello because they do look like they're happy together. They do look like Utirello is one relationship where I feel like Umelelo is understood. You know, I don't know if Tirello is understood too in that relationship. And uh, I haven't had her talk about the relationship much outside of the show, but I'm hoping that she feels understood and she feels heard and she feels like she's important and loved. Okay. But I do feel like it feels like Mpumelelo is understood here with Tirello. So now, why wouldn't he just, what would help if he just decided, to, you know what, I'll just, you know, choose this one and just let's live happily ever after, just the two of us. But Mseleko would commit suicide. <laughs> As Bulalum Mseleko, ha!
who is going to take over but anyway you guys listen they do look very very happy together and uh as much as i don't understand these young girls getting into these relationships i feel like i mean i guess if they're happy they're happy okay so listen easy terms but the bottom line is that everybody looks like they are happy where they are so i guess everybody made the right decision for themselves which is good now i do wonder you guys in season three of ingan is a symbol what are we going to be seeing as far as um, pomelo is concerned because the only thing that he has been able to sh to show us is uh, those relationships you know the, the relationship with this one and then this one and this one it doesn't look like there is a this one and that one and that one this time or at least publicly okay because they've always said Pamela has always had more girlfriends than we actually see. So I do wonder what they are going to give us as far as the new season of the show is concerned. But I sure am looking forward to it. But I do want to know what happened with Nosip. Did they play us and pretended that she was in a relationship with Pamela when she wasn't? Because that's, that is a possibility too when it comes to these shows. Anyway, thank you so much watching this video please like it before we're gonna share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in the tunnel